Okay, now we're going to tinker around with our kinematic equations and solve for different variables in them just to get comfortable manipulating them to get what we want out of them. Uh, let's go ahead and start with our position. x equals x naught plus v naught t plus one half a t squared. Cool. Let's solve for a. So to start there, I'm going to use, I always like to do my addition and subtraction first. That's v naught t. That means I'm going to do it on this side, so we'll rewrite it over here. x minus x naught minus v naught t equals one half a t squared. Now it's easier for me to see it this way. I'm going to get rid of that one half, so I'm going to multiply it by two. And multiply this side by two. Rewrite it. And I get 2x minus 2x naught minus 2v naught t equals a t squared. Now we want to solve for a. So to do that, let's divide by t squared and get it gone over here. Move it over here. These cancel out. And we have now successfully solved for a, which is what we wanted. Is 2x minus 2x naught minus 2v naught, oops, off my 2, times t divided by t squared. We have solved for a different variable than this equation actually sets out for. So that's cool. Uh, let's do, let's not be boring. Let's solve for time. In the second equation, v equals v naught plus a t. And if you're thinking to yourself, this is super easy, then hit pause and solve it and see if you come up with the same thing I do. All right, subtract v naught, both sides. V minus v naught equals a t. Now I've forgotten what I said I wanted to solve for. What did we solve for last time? I'll do the opposite. We'll solve, solve for t. Divide by a, divide by a, and t equals v minus v naught divided by a. Hey, let's do some dimensional analysis, why don't we? Do you think this works? We need to get it to make me equal time. So I have meters per second minus meters per second divided by meters per second squared. Remember, fractions on the bottom, so it flips, becomes the inverse. So I end up with meters per second minus meters per second times s squared over m. Cool. Distributive property, this would carry through to this piece and this piece. So that means my m's and both go away. I have an, a, one s on the bottom here, one s on the bottom here and two up here, so that means that goes away. Because if I put my s squared through, they would cancel out. So indeed, I end up with t equals seconds, which is true. It works. All right, one more. Then we'll go on to an application of all of this funness. I think that's a word. All okay. right, ooh, v squared equals v naught squared plus 2a times x minus x naught. So if you're given a problem and you don't have time in it, you can solve for position, or you can solve for velocity, or you can solve for acceleration. Depends on what parts or pieces you have. In this particular case, let's solve for our final x. We're going to live life on the wild. So let's subtract our v naught squared. Let's subtract our v naught squared. We get v naught or yeah, v squared minus v naught squared equals two a times x minus x naught. And just a refresher, this should look familiar. This is delta x, right? So you can think of this in terms of these two pieces or you can think of it in terms of dx, whichever is most comfortable to you is fine. The key here that I want you to notice is that this 2a 
we can divide it out just like we do with everything else because it's multiplied. It doesn't matter how much junk I end up inside of these parentheses, it's still the same rules apply. Divide by 2a, that becomes 1. Divide by 2a. Let's get this up so you can see it. So now we have v squared minus v naught squared divided by 2a equals x minus x naught. Well, I wanted to know what my final position is. So we need to get rid of this x naught. Plus x naught here, plus x naught here. Rewrite it. v squared minus v naught squared divided by 2a plus x naught equals x. And it could be that this makes you break out into hives because you have mixed fractions. So let's make this look pretty and make this left side be all just one fraction. And we're going to do that by getting a common denominator. This has 2a down here, so to make it a common denominator, I'm going to multiply 2a up top and bottom here. That way I can combine that fraction. And it looks something like this, go like this. 2a here times over 2a. So now it'll become one piece. I multiply the x naught times the 2a, and I end up with v squared minus v naught squared plus 2a x naught divided by 2a equals x. Now you can solve for position knowing only acceleration and your initial uh, velocities and your initial velocity and position and your final velocity. And some of these things should start to kind of look familiar. If you look at this, well that one has time. Oh no, the book does it. The book does some derivations on how we get to some of these places and how the equations go, go from one to the other. What's important is that when you look at these pieces, things, layers are going to be added on. And sometimes you'll have enough to solve for one piece, but not another. And by solving for one piece and putting it into the next equation, now you can get your final answer. We'll get there. Don't worry about it. Okay. Now we're going to move on to applications, and I'm going to shut this video off.